Hello and welcome to the fourth stage of the virtual Tour de France. The men's and women's peloton remain on the roads of France today for a course named Casse Pat. Literally, leg breaker. The race today is 45.8 kilometers with two small climbs on the circuit placed strategically near the finish line. First, the women's race. The pace is once again very strong from the start. White jersey Krista Riffle, the young German, is one of the riders dropped. A group of favourites and riders who were very visible last weekend stand out after the first two kilometre ascent of the stage. We find Joss Loudon of drops in her polka dot jersey, also Sarah Gigante and Leah Dixon in the yellow jersey from Tibco, Silicon Valley Bank. The group also contains Chloe Digert and stage winner April Tacey. At the top, Loudon takes the opportunity to establish a domination of team drops on the polka dot jersey and on the flat some riders make it back. On the Pont de Garde, Loudon again takes maximum mountain points. There are 10 kilometres to go. Loudon repeats the effort on the final ascent using her power up to good effect and clinching maximum points on all four climbs for drops. This will leave them 18 points ahead in the mountain classification. We find a group of 11 women at the front, one and a half kilometres from the finish. 300 metres from the line, Leah Dixon launches the sprint. She seems powerful and uses her aerodynamic power-up. But a few metres from the line, April Tacey pounces again to take her second stage victory. The young British drops rider is only 19 years old and the revelation of this virtual Tour de France. She wins ahead of Anna Henderson of Sunweb and Lauren Stevens of Tibco Silicon Valley Bank. The American team continue in the lead of the yellow jersey. It feels amazing to win on the stage. That race was really, really hard. Um, coming into that last hill, I was about nearly lost it. And then I made it up on the downhill. And I just can't quite believe I won the sprint. In the men's race, NTT are dominating the classifications with three distinct jerseys. The yellow jersey is worn by former winner of the Amstel Gold Race, Dane Michael Volgren. Michael Gogol is in green and Michael Carbel in the white jersey. The team defending the polka dot jersey is the Israel Startup Nation team. In the second ascent of this stage, Manuel Turec, the Czech, takes a few seconds on the group of favourites and goes alone in the lead at the top. There are 18 riders in the lead at the end of the first circuit. Irishman Ryan Mullen of Trek Segafredo decides to leave the group. He quickly takes a lead of more than 10 seconds, a gap we haven't seen on this virtual tour. But he has picked up a little more than 16 kilometres from the finish. Lawson Craddock is in the lead group, as is Brian Cockard and also Ben Gastower and the yellow jersey. A group of eight riders stand out on the next climb. As we near the finish, it seems it's going to be a bunch sprint. Will Clark seems to launch the right attack using his power up to good effect. 500 metres from the line, he even has one second on his opponents. But as he senses victory, Freddy Ovet, the Australian from Israel's startup nation, ignites his sprint and powers home, ahead of Nick Schultz of Mitchelton Scott and Michael Volgren of NTT. No real challenge for NTT for the leader's yellow jersey. You have to learn it. It is a game and you have to learn the ins and outs. But uh, to be honest, I don't think it's as complicated as some people make it. You know, start hard, continue hard, finish hard. That's it. You know, it's, it's, it's not as uh, complicated as people like to make it. It's, it's a fantastic uh, training aid and uh, I'm, a, I'm a massive fan of it, to be honest. I think it's fantastic. Let's meet and next week for the last weekend of this virtual Tour de France, including the ascent of the famed Mont Ventoux and of course the finish on the Champs-Élysées.